Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about context sensitive grammar and language. In our previous classes, we discussed about regular grammar and context free grammar. For better understanding, please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Let's take an example and understand what's context sensitive grammar. And uh, so previously we discussed about regular grammar and we cannot define some languages using this regular grammar. What's one of the languages A power N, B power N. Yes, it is not defined using a regular grammar. The same way context free grammar, we already defined about context free grammar and we cannot define some languages using a context free grammar one of such language is a power n b power n and c power n but we can define this language using context sensitive grammar the languages that are able to derive using context sensitive grammar we call it as context sensitive languages coming to the context sensitive grammar in this class we will understand about uh, what's the grammar conditions and a uh, little bit about context sensitive grammar you know next class we'll check the example uh, 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 check, check the example of A power N, B power N and C power N. Now let's try to understand what's context sensitive grammar is. G is equal to grammar consists of V, T, P, S. V means uh, variables. We call it as non-terminals. T means terminals. P means productions. S means uh, start symbol. Same way production. So what's the difference between regular grammar and context free grammar? Production conditions. That's the difference. The same way. What's the difference between context free grammar and context sensitive grammar? Production conditions are the difference. What's those conditions? Let's try to understand. Production conditions are if you take uh, x tends to y is a production in context sensitive grammar then it has to follow some conditions what's those conditions x comma y belongs to v union t whole plus v means non-terminals t means terminals means combination of terminals and non-terminals you can take any terminal or non-terminal whole plus means at least one symbol should be there that is what this condition says means on the left hand side you should have at least one terminal or non-terminal on the right hand side you should have at least one terminal or non-terminal that is what context sensitive grammar condition is one of the condition from this condition we can understand that epsilon is not allowed here context sensitive grammar it won't allow epsilon in the language means the lang in the language it won't accept epsilon that is what this condition says the second condition is the length of the left hand side production should be always less than or equal to the length of the right hand side production. Try to understand this with an example. A, A, B tends to A, B, B. Yes, this is a context sensitive grammar. You can have anything on the left hand side. You can have anything on the right hand side. But the length, how many symbols are there? Three symbols are there. How many symbols are there? Three symbols. Yes, it is accepted. On the left hand side, how many symbols? Three symbols. How many symbols? Four symbols. Yes, it is accepted. X should be always less than or equal to Y. But this is not a context sensitive grammar. A, A tends to A. Left hand side, we are having two symbols. On the right hand side, we are having single symbol. It is not accepted. Always the length on the left hand side should be less than or equal to length of the right hand side. These, these two conditions should be followed by the context sensitive grammar. So why we got the name uh, context sensitive? See here, A, ter non-terminal A followed by terminal B means uh, we are applying A based on some context. So what's on what's there on the left hand side what's there on the right hand side based on that we are applying the production if a on the left hand side if you are having a we are applying this that's why it's got the name context sense too but when but you take the example of context free grammar whenever you see a you can apply this or that based on the situation we go with this or that we are not taking any context uh, what's before a what's after a that context is not considered blindly we'll see a and we'll apply either this or that we'll check the kind if, if this is not satisfied this we go with this so that's why it, it got the name context free grammar why we call it as a because it is checking the context also on which context we are going to apply a that's why it's got the name context sense to grammar now coming to the next point you have to understand context free grammar is a subset of context sensitive grammar 
but there is an assumption that epsilon is not in the language then only this condition satisfies so context sense free grammar is subset of context sensitive grammar yes this point we already discussed when we discussed about context free grammar and regular grammar what's the conditions of regular grammar it is a subset of one of the condition of context free grammar similarly what's the conditions of context free grammar left side you should have single non terminal right side you should have anything it is one of the condition of context sensitive grammar that's why cfg is subset of a context sensitive grammar so this diagram is very important to understand context sensitive grammar so remaining all are subset of this means context sensitive with by using context sensitive grammar we can write the grammar for the languages that belongs to cfg or a regular grammar also along with that some extra languages can be uh, can be defined using context sensitive grammar so one of the languages a power and b power and c power and you know next class we will uh, uh, understand the context sensitive grammar for a power and b power and c power and hope you understand what's the conditions about context sensitive grammar if you have any questions regarding the grammar please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you